Hello and welcome to this video where I'm talking about this Mighty Mule gate lock and how I installed it and how you can do the same. Now this gate lock is pretty awesome. It helps with the gate not swaying and it gives an extra level of security. I did have a couple issues with it which I'll talk about in the video but let's jump straight into the install and I'll get into those things. first thing to jump into this project is we need a new gate so I built one and I'm just gonna fast forward through this just to show y'all uh, some more of the project and these will be in the playlist now let's jump into the lock I am setting up the mighty mule control box on my left pillar and connecting all the batteries and such and then starting to test it out which went pretty smoothly and then putting the gate latch onto the gate Let's get it. The Mighty Mule gate lock doesn't come with any screws or anything, so make sure you get some bigger bolt screws so you can put it into your gate um, and then just connect it. And then the other side is basically the same thing. There's two slots above and below on the gate side, and then there's one for the right side that I'm doing here. And then we're going to take the wire that is pre connected, string it along the gate horizontal and then put it through the column. One thing I'm realizing is that the directions say that the lock and the receiver must be aligned with the opener and so I'm assuming the opener is the the hinge uh, so I need to move it down from where I had it. I don't know what will do if it's not aligned so let me know if, if you've experienced that problem in the comments. So we moved it down just the same way that we installed it on top and now we have it all leveled out. So this lock comes with the wire already attached and it's pretty long. I don't know how long, but I cut a lot off uh, just for this short distance. It's about uh, eight feet, maybe 10 feet, um, but it goes from here. And then if you follow it all the way here, down here, and then there's a hole here. So I'm gonna show you how I did that wire. So it's going just through the hole and then I'm pulling it through, drilling a hole by the control panel and then using a fish wire to, you know, fish the wire, um, which will then go and connect into the control panel. Oh, oh, barely. Maybe. I'm wiring the lock on the gate and there is a positive negative here, um, but on the directions, I'm not too sure which control board I have. The directions are like kind of confusing, so Mighty Mule, figure that out. Or maybe I just need to get with it. Uh, but there is a lock plus, lock minus on this board. And so I'm gonna, do that in and see if it works. It turns out it doesn't matter which one you connect to positive or negative, it's the same thing. Lock plus, lock minus. There we go. So one of the issues I had was this gate was closing too much. And, and so it would like close and then it would like stop and then it would like try to open again but the lock was locked. Um, so the things were like out of sync. And I think the main issue of that was because I didn't put the gates stopped at the correct position, which you can do from the control box really easily. Um, the directions are in the pamphlet and there's just a few buttons in here where you can open and close, open and close. Now that doesn't directly go with the lock, but it has a lot to do with it. Um, so look into that when you install this and make sure your gates are straight across and they're not trying to open too much and screw your gate and your arms up. But after I fixed that, the gate worked like magic. It opened up, it did really good and worked as it should. But I think that one worked. Not sure what the difference was, it was pretty much the same thing. Another issue I had was the gates closing in the wrong order. Here I explain it a little bit more. The gate that is closest to the control box is the first operator, or they say master in there, but on the control board, first operator, and the further gate is second operator. So I gotta switch them back again so that the lock works correctly. If you don't have these in the correct order, they will just hit each other and not work at all. So you can just switch them or make sure you install the latch on the correct side. So the lock I bought from Amazon, and I'll have the link in the description as well, as the stuff for the other parts of the gate, like 
the swinging arms um, and some of the other materials like the lights. But so for this log, it has one keyhole here. So if something happens where like your battery runs out or you just need to unlock it, here's this. And I've used this a few times when uh, it's like gotten messed up and offset. Um, but it automatically unlocks when you do the clicker like this. I'll show you. And you can hear there, that's where it unlocked. It's here. You can see it's, it's locked there. And then watch what happens when you go back. Now, it's locked. And do it one more time. See it's open, and then it locks again. So with that, it about sums up this video. The lock was a pretty easy install. It didn't take me very long, um, and connecting it to the control panel was even easier. And so, if you want it, once again, the link is in the description. Go check that out. And if you're interested in more of the gate videos, go check that out. And go check out this other video, whatever it might be. <laughs> All right, thank you all for stopping by. See you out there and I'll see you in another video. Alrighty, toodaloo.